uh, gun violence. Uh, as far as growing up with it, it was it has not exactly been the best of experiences. Uh, lived in a lovely little section in the Bronx where uh, pretty much led to uh, you would hear gunshots every now and again. Where um, I would like to think it got better now because I haven't been there in so long. But as far as I know. It felt like almost every month or every couple of months we hear a gunshot. And I got so used to it to the point, uh, like late at night, where I would just duck to the bottom of the floor, or the rest of my family would be like, it's clear, it's clear. Now we can get up and go right back to bed. Um, high school, it was my first exposure walking in with metal detectors. So walking in, made sure I had to keep everything out of my pockets, all the other stuff, made sure that I didn't have any guns or stuff like that. Uh, there was even a moment, well, this is more of a gang thing, but also, I guess, like, gun concern, too, where for Halloween, it was the emptiest I've ever seen my high school because they, because there were rumors that there were going to be uh, bloods coming by our school and shooting up the school on Halloween. I went. I don't know why now that I think about it, but um, but aside from that, I, I'm really not the biggest fan of gun violence. I hate seeing that it's actually gotten worse, especially with the whole thoughts and prayers thing, because personally, thoughts and prayers mean nothing if nothing is done about it after that. It's a shame that in Australia, they had a mass shooting, and within a couple of days, they put a ban to those guns to get it done. And again, I'm not saying you had to ban all guns because that's physically impossible, but at least have some form of regulation on it. It shouldn't be as accessible. It shouldn't be as easy to, like, for someone like me or anybody else, like, if we felt like it, oh, I'm going to walk into a gun shop and even if I had a license, get an AR-15 or insert, like, some machine gun or assault rifle here and be like, oh, I'm doing it for hunting or some other stuff. I mean, hunting for sport? I understand that when you're not <laughs> like I really don't see the purpose of really having it there but I'm trying to articulate the best way that I can but I'm I really absolute I absolutely hate how much worse it has gotten since from the time that I've grown up because I feel like it has gotten a lot worse I shouldn't have to feel like no matter where I go to that there's a possibility that some person either either because they're disgruntled or mental illness, or I don't know exactly what the situation is, that, or because they feel like they got spurned because of their lover. I don't know what their excuse is, but then they're like, well, fuck it. I'm gonna take it out on everybody else just because I feel like it. Because if I feel this way, everybody else should feel my pain. I feel like funds should just go to something a lot more prevalent than It should go to something a lot more better than um, than just thoughts and prayers, really. Or just, I, I'm trying to figure out a better way to explain it, but as far as I can say, it feels like it's gotten worse, and I'm afraid that one day when I do have a kid, that when I actually bring my kid, or when it's time for my kid to go to school, am I going to have to worry about, am I taking them to the right school? Or am I going to have to actually consider homeschooling? I don't want to think that because I feel like a social, because I feel like one of the benefits of school is also just social interaction. And they're not going to exactly get that if they're always at home with me. Granted, yeah, take them out, but it's just the whole thing of, I hate that it feels like it's gotten worse. I feel like even recently we had a shooting in Colorado and again, thoughts and prayers, but nothing was done. 